This is a recent shark attack that happened off of Fiji. Gnarly. Right away you see the shark swimming erratically like this, and these are clear signs from the shark that it's being very territorial. You see the way that it's kind of swimming back towards the diver, and then away with its pectoral fins kind of arched. Those are some shark communication signals that the shark is irritated and wants space. And basically that just continues to progress until the shark decides to turn here and fully commit charging right at the diver. You can see that the diver is using the spear to create that space between themselves and the shark. And at the end of the clip, you see the shark swimming away in the background there. Now for the slow-mo version. You see how quickly the shark turns around and charges full speed with those pectoral fins down. And the diver using the spear, creating that space, pushing the shark off with the spear. So in a situation like this, the diver basically did everything that they could to maintain a safer barrier between themselves and the shark and kind of following the shark as it moves back and forth with the spear gun to have it ready to go. If the shark does do that charge, it has a nice buffer rather than the shark running right into the person themselves. I'm sure a lot of people will think that the spearfishing was what was causing the shark to be agitated, but in the caption and the write-up for this video, they actually said that they didn't get to spearfish at all because this was kind of what they were immediately greeted with. So I don't know if they were chumming or scenting in the area that could have, you know, potentially amped the shark up, but there was definitely no spearfishing or any fish on the individual diver in this clip. And even if there wasn't any scenting from the spear fishermen to get fish to come up in the area, there could have been another dead animal in the region, something that was causing the shark to be more territorial. Or it could have just been in a bad mood, not feeling the diver, wanted space, saw it as competition. You never know. The shark definitely doesn't look like it's super fat and healthy, so could be just because it's starving, really hungry. Again, we have no idea. Sometimes sharks are just sharks and they can be aggro like this, they can be agitated, they can just be territorial and it, we have no idea why sometimes. And that is why it's important to always, 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 always respect these animals. Anytime you dive with them, anytime you're in the water with them, they can turn on and turn into this in less than half a second. I have seen it myself and you want to always be on your toes, always alert and never get complacent with these animals. And 99% of the time, if not more, when you get in the water and you see a shark, they're probably going to immediately swim away from you, especially if you're in an area that is uh, less human trafficked and they're a little bit less accustomed to people. So definitely don't expect this to be your everyday encounter with a shark, but again, always maintaining that respect is something that is critical when we're diving and working with them.